All right, so we're heading to 9638 Colette Road right now. Just kind of wanted to show you what the drive into this place looks like. Well, once we get to the house, it's very secluded, sits back and is extremely private. As you can see, very much country. We have woods and fields across the street. And we come around the corner here where we see that yellow directional sign. And this is, oh, there's my GPS talking to us. The, to the right is a no outlet street. So we shouldn't have a lot of houses down the street. So turned into the driveway here. In 700 feet. Now this barn is, right. is not, Road. sorry, GPS. This barn is not on the property. We kind of curve around here and go up here to the right. So this is not a shared driveway. That barn is to for the neighbor. And straight back up that hill, it's not a big hill, but up that hill there is the house. So what we're pulling up to right now is a bridge. And this is actually an extremely strong bridge. The, one of the previous owners had a trucking company and the semis went across this. So this little flat area here is all part of this property. The creek, uh, I'll try to get some pictures of that. The creek that we just crossed is all part of this property. And there's the house. Two-story house with a walkout basement. And guys, there over here to the right, there is a massive, massive barn. Um, probably labeled as a four car garage, but this thing is just huge. All kinds of woods, as you can see, very, very private here. We'll give you the full effect. We'll drive up the destination to the house here. Right. Yes, the destination is on my right. Now this Correct. section here is all an in-law suite or an apartment. Basically, this is could be a room for an ailing parent, teenager, or just a guest suite. And we'll get you some more pictures and video of the outside as well. Just kind of wanted to give you the feel pulling in the driveway. All right, so just walked out to the corner of the flat spot here. Perfect spot for a football field, baseball field for the kids to run and play, kick the ball. We have a burn pit up here. Second floor deck, first floor patio on the ground level, and there's also a huge front porch. So we're technically looking at the back of the house right here. The front of the house is on the other side. But this is a nature lover's dream here. Deer, rabbits, fox, pheasant. You see all kinds of critters running and playing along with your little critters. And I'm gonna take us over to that bridge and see the creek before we go look at the house. All right, as promised, I'll sh I wanted to show you the creek here. This is a very nice feature and you can see, well, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but these are really big drain tiles, heavy duty concrete and rock here. This will support just about anything that exists that can drive across it here. Perfect place. I know I grew up with a creek in my backyard. And as a young boy, that was the ultimate thing to go and catch some fish, catch some crawdads, catch some frogs, great stuff. Okay, next, let's go up and check out the house. All right, so here we're at the top of the driveway here. Check out this garage. It is more than a garage. This is all concrete floor, three car garage door here, and this is all covered. So we basically have like a three car carport here then the three car garage and kind of how this is set up and we will look at the inside. It's kind of set up as a, just a regular two car garage on that side. And then this one goes all the way back to this whole section over here. And they even added all of these roll up doors here. Look at how big that barn is. It is massive. And I will take you inside and check that out. First, I wanted to show you the front here. Now, one thing I want to point out the property does not go all the way over here. It kind of pies over to these apple trees over here. And I'll get some satellite views and put them online. Mainly, I just want to kind of show you the front of the house here. 
and this overlooks nothing but cornfield. Those sheds are not on this property. That little thicket there is not on this property. The neighbor owns that. But beautiful home, nice front porch, very rustic cabin feel on the outside, but on the inside it's nicely updated. Next, let's go check out the inside. I know I said we go inside, but I wanted to show you the view from the back deck, which is technically the front when you come in. The front of the house is actually the back of the house, and there's a huge covered porch there. I want to show you that too. Great view from here, good sized deck, and current owner says that, you know, like I said before, you see deer and everything, and those are all fruit trees right there. I believe they're all apple trees. So like a little food plot, and this right here, perfect spot to put a hot tub if you wanted one, but just a great view, very private to do your own thing. And on the outside of the house, we have a new roof on the outside of the house as well. Now I wanna show you the front porch, which is AKA the back porch. All right, so it doesn't matter whether you like front porch sitting or back porch sitting, look at the view on the front slash back porch. Very private, you have your own oasis out here can't get much better on the setting than just under five acres now let's check out the house all right so here i just came through the front door and this is a absolutely gorgeous front door here nice stained and etched glass i guess it's not so much stained as it is etched but it comes into a grand entry here could put a bench there but check this out goes all the way up to the second floor and then the staircase is right in front of us, so a nice grand entry. To the left, I would call this the formal dining room. To the left here, and to the right, which is the direction we're gonna go, we have a coat closet here, updated six panel door, and this takes us into a huge living room. Carpet is relatively new, so that's why we have the plastic walk things on here. Two updated ceiling fans in here, crown molding throughout this room. And the one really nice thing about this house, big windows and fantastic views out of pretty much every single window in this whole entire home. Brand new double door here, and this will swing open the second side, and we already saw the view from the deck there. This door right here takes us down to the basement. We will check that out here momentarily but this will take us into the kitchen. Kitchen sink overlooks the big yard that the kids would play in. So if you're preparing dinner or washing dishes, you can see the kids run around and have fun. 42 inch cabinets on the wall, pantry cabinet here, brand new granite countertops in here. These are literally like a week or two old. All new hardware and all of the appliances stay in the kitchen as well all updated ceramic tile and this has kind of a herringbone kind of decorative type pattern it's not herringbone but it's a decorative pattern on the tile updated ceiling fan in the breakfast area so this is our breakfast area right here and then check out the window in the breakfast area can you imagine sitting in the winter time like it is now drinking your morning cup of coffee and this is the view that you have out the window then from the breakfast room leads us right into the dining room crown molding in the dining room as well. And then we have first floor laundry. So we have washer and dryer here and a mud sink over to the left. Same ceramic tile flows into here. Washer and dryer also stay. Owners even thrown in a home warranty for the buyer's peace of mind. First floor half bathroom. And then this is all the bonus area here. So. I don't know what we call this, a mudroom, and that same ceramic tile goes in here. Biggest mudroom I've ever seen. I'm guessing probably the biggest mudroom you've ever seen too. This could be a workshop, craft room, uh, you know, whatever you want, but it also has a separate entrance. So it could be a, a office area. So the big barn, if you ran a business out of it, you could meet your customers in here. Or if you had employees, you could have them in here or uh, in-law suite. Big vaulted ceilings in here. It's kind of set up as a apartment. You could technically, I guess you could possibly rent it out as well. I love this. You have the engineered hardwood with the carpet in the center here. 
very, very cool look. But this would kind of be like a living room, office area, if it was used as an apartment or a bedroom. We'll check this out here momentarily. This is what I would call the bedroom in here. And look at the windows and the natural light that comes in here. This is freaking awesome in here. Bathroom, huge amount of space in this bathroom. Full bathroom, have a walk-in shower. Again, great for an ailing parent. There's our commode. And check out this closet. Just a massive, massive closet. Have attic access in here too. So a huge walk-in closet. So we also have a second floor master. So we have a first floor master and a second floor master. While we're talking about it, let's go check out the second floor. I'll meet you upstairs. All right, so here I just came up the stairs. Here's the second floor look down into the entry of the first floor. Very, very cool. And check out the window on the front here. Tons of natural light. This is our second floor master. We'll check that out last. Come around the corner to the left. We have our first bedroom. Double sliding closet. And these are big closets in here. Updated ceiling fan. And again, when you're here in person, check out the view from every window. I mean, every single window has a awesome view. Six panel doors throughout. Now we'll get our bearings. That's where we just came. We went to the first bedroom to the left. Guest bathroom. This is our second full bathroom that we've seen. Big bedroom here. Big double slider here. And this has the same view as the other bedroom that we looked at. Has a ceiling fan in here as well. Linen closet. This bedroom is on the front of the house which is the back of the way that you pull in. I think you're probably learning that now. Again, great view out of every window. Big double sliding closet here as well. So that's the third bedroom we've seen on the second floor. So we have four full bedrooms on the second floor. We're coming into the master suite. Here we get a good look at our new roof here. And you couldn't see a neighbor if you wanted to here. I love this. Love this entry here. That's the dining room right there. So coming into the second floor master bedroom, updated ceiling fan in here as well. And then we have a huge bathroom. This is all ceramic tile in here. This would be our walk-in closet. Attic access in this closet as well. Big section over here to the right. Walk-in shower, jetted tub, and then double vanity with a makeup area. Don't mind that guy over there, that's just me. This is our toilet, so you can actually shut the door, and then a linen closet here. So great second floor, so four bedrooms on the second floor. The master, the second floor master suite does have separation from the other bedrooms, but it's close enough to everything. Then we got the bedroom, uh, the apartment, office, whatever you want to call it, making it five bedrooms. Up here we have two bathrooms, and then downstairs we had a bath and a half, so that's three and a half bathrooms. Next, let's go check out the basement. All right, so here I just came down the stairs to the basement, and we pretty much have a blank, place, uh, blank space for the rec room that you want here. Looks like there used to be a bar right here. It is plumbed for water, so you could have a wet bar in here. Good space, and I'm, there's a big room over here. We're gonna go check that room out here right now. I was gonna check it out last, but we'll check it out first. Walkout basement, so we have our first floor patio, and then right above that is the deck that we saw when we were upstairs. And then a huge room in here. Again, if you're running a home-based business, this would be a perfect spot. Or heck, we could throw a closet in here real easily and call this a six bedroom. And again, good rec space here. And then coming through here, we have a big storage area over here. We'll take a look at that. It's also where our panel boxes are. And we, it has its own entrance as well. So this could be an office. Heck, it could be a small bedroom as well. Two panel boxes here and the apartment area has its own panel box as well. 
This door here is a half bathroom. So now we've seen three full bathrooms and two half bathrooms. Get our bearings. That's where we're right there. That's where we came down. And then a storage area here, partially finished. Really high ceilings in here too. So I'm a tall person and I do not feel cramped in this basement at all. And then coming in here, this is our mechanical room. We've got some crown jewels in here. We're gonna start, we have the Colligan water softener purification system here. This was extremely expensive. This is owned and it does stay. There's our water heater. And guys, we have geothermal heating and cooling here. This set someone back a pretty, pretty penny on this place. This is pretty much top of the line, energy efficient uh, heat source that you can do here. Gives you very affordable utility bills. So that's our basement. I know what you're thinking, awesome house, but hey guy, I wanna see that barn. I don't blame you, and we're gonna go check it out right now. All right, so I figured I'd start at the back of the barn and work our way towards the driveway here. Huge space, as you can see, all concrete floors here. We even have a roll-up door on the back of the property. Roll-up door, roll-up door, roll-up door, plus the garage doors. So if you need to get equipment in and out of here, it is absolutely no problem at all to get it in here. Huge amount of space. I mean, you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars just in this back section. And then nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, if you could probably get 16 cars in here relatively easily. And also this hydro lift here, this is a negotiable item. This could stay with the property, as could that Husqvarna zero turn mower. One thing to point out, and I'll get you a better look at this when we go up the stairs here, there is a second floor deck among above the uh, workshop in the three car garage. And here's the workshop. Think, oh, we have that workshop in the basement. Well, there's a bigger workshop in the garage. And then the two car garage, or I shouldn't say the, the loft is above the two car garage because this is considered the third car port there. That's the compressor that just kicked on. So coming up to the second floor. So a lot of space up here and really you could extend this over to the other side as well. Heck, for that matter, you could extend it all the way over to the other side in that big section as well. Good amount of storage, very beefy staircase. So again, there's the driveway where we came in. Got the two cars here, the one car here, which is really kind of a tandem one over to the hydro lift, and then coming through the workshop. I mean, this is a mechanic's dream, whether you're from the business, you're a prepper, a hoarder, whatever it may be, just a tinker. I mean, this is phenomenal and it has a very nice house that comes with it as well. So if you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to show it to you. A house like this in Wayne Township, which means no city income taxes when you're in the township, but Waynesville schools here, Great place to run a business, great place to call home. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to talking to you.